There's a saying and it goes something like this. The most expensive things aren't always the best. And this definitely is the case for beauty products. Do you guys ever wonder which drugstore beauty products work the best for teen skin? Or what affordable makeup products work just as well as the luxury ones? And how do you start a beauty routine for teen skin that doesn't cost an arm and a leg? If you wanna know the answers to these questions, keep watching. Two tips. There have been so many requests on drugstore beauty products for teens, and this is what today's video is going to be all about. I'll be sharing with you guys my must-haves for teen skin that's affordable, that you can get at the drugstore, and I hope you guys enjoy this. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you want to join the family and see new videos every week. All right, let's get started and show you guys my must-have teen drugstore beauty products. We're going to be covering a lot of things, but first we'll do skincare. One of my favorite teen drugstore cleansers is the Simple Kind of Skin Foaming Cleanser. This stuff has chamomile, has pro-vitamin B5, calendula, geranium, vitamin E, and it's just such a good everyday cleanser. It's super affordable and there's no artificial perfumes, colors or dyes, and no harsh chemicals that can upset your skin. So if you have combination dry or oily skin, I really do recommend this one because it's great for an everyday cleanser. Especially when you're in your teen years, you want something that's not too crazy, something very simple and easy to use. As you guys can see here, I just lather it up, cleanse my face for about 30 seconds, and then rinse with warm water. Once you're done that, just pat dry with a clean towel. One product I wish I had in my teen years would be tonic. This you would have seen me use a bunch of times in my videos. It's the Pixi Skin Treats Glow Tonic. What I love about this is that it helps exfoliate and purifies the skin with glycolic acid. It only has about 5%, which is gentle enough, but works very well. It also has ginseng to improve circulation and energizes, and aloe vera to soothe and hydrate. This also won the Acne Awards for Teen Vogue in 2017, so that tells you something. Next up, let's talk about masks. Biore was around in my teen years and I love their products. For teens, I especially like this whipped purifying detox mask with natural charcoal. It's specially formulated for oily skin and this creamy mask helps eliminate impurities, lifting away dirt and oil to purify clogged pores. Taking my trusty dollar store paintbrush, a lot of you guys ask about this brush, it's not specially formulated for face masks at all, it's just a paintbrush I believe. And I love it because it just applies the face mask so evenly and it has a sharp straight edge, which I like. So how this mask works is that you just apply it, just a generous amount, you chill out for about five minutes, the mask doesn't dry or harden, so it's still gonna be a little bit wet and moist, then rinse thoroughly with warm water to remove. When removing the face mask, I always find that rinsing makes a big mess around my sink, so I always have a warm washcloth to easily remove the mask, making it very clean and simple. This drugstore mask is one of my favorites. I can instantly feel a difference in my skin already. Now let's talk about boosters. One of my favorites, and you know this, is the Vichy Mineral 89. This has been in my skincare bag for years. If you're gonna splurge a little bit on a drugstore beauty product, I highly recommend it be a serum or a booster. Mineral 89 is a non-greasy gel formula with a high dose of mineral thermal water, and it also has hyaluronic acid. I can use this before bed as a primer. It is a multitasker. If you're gonna take one tip out of this video, I highly recommend all teens get sunscreen. The Aveeno Positively Mineral Sensitive Skin Sunscreen with SPF 50 is really one of my favorites. It has the high SPF and it also has a broad spectrum sunscreen which is naturally sourced with zinc oxide and nourishing oat. So it's even safe on the most sensitive types of skin. Always put on sunscreen about 30 minutes before going out. It's lightweight, oil-free, paraben, phthalate, and fragrance-free too bonus. One of my favorite drugstore body lotions is the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It's super affordable, it comes in a huge bottle that has over 3,000 reviews on Amazon, so that definitely says something. It's just a great everyday moisturizing lotion. Now let's get into my favorite drugstore makeup products. First up is the Real Techniques Dual Ended Expert Sponge. For makeup, I'll be using the Dream Urban Cover by Maybelline. This is the color in 220 Natural Beige, and it also has SPF 50 in it. There's something about the Maybelline foundations that I find are so good for the price. They're really affordable, they blend really well, and it gives a medium to heavy coverage. 
To apply, I'll be using the orange side for the foundation, and then the pink side is used to contour, highlight, or apply blush. Another Real Techniques product I love is the Set and Highlight Brush. This I have had for years. If you watch my channel, you'll have seen it. I love using this to apply concealer. And one of my favorite drugstore concealers is the CoverGirl True Blend. I use this concealer all the time. It's definitely more on the heavy coverage side, but it really gets rid of those dark circles and under eye bags. This concealer gives a full coverage matte finish. It's easy to blend and no caking or cracking. It lasts all day and it's a vegan formula. Back to this amazing brush. It's a micro setting brush. So it's actually used for dusting and setting powders. But for me, I honestly love it for concealer. It just blends in perfectly. It doesn't leave any of those streaks that happen when you put on heavy concealer. And for the price point, I just love it. Teens, if you're looking for a contour stick, check out the Infallible Shaping Stick Foundation. I know it's this foundation, but I actually use this in the dark shade called Honey for my contour. I just use this brush and apply it on. It gives the most natural finish. It's super creamy and blendable, as you can see here, and I just love it, and it's great for a drugstore contour. None of that fancy schmancy stuff. This works and looks natural. And to pair with that, I'll be using one of my favorites, the Maybelline Fit Me Blush. This is in the color Peach, I believe, and it's number 40. I love this because it's natural, it's affordable, and it's really compact. So if you're a traveler and you need to put something in your bag and that isn't gonna be huge and bulky, this is a perfect little compact blush to bring with you. For eyeliner, you guys, there are tons of black eyeliners out there. One of my favorites though for drugstore is the Revlon Colorstay Sharp Line. Why? Because this guy is very pointy and if you love a winged eye, it helps so much, it makes it really easy and it's sharp. So as you can see here, I can make a winged liner in less than 15 seconds. Obviously, practice makes perfect. So if you're not too comfortable with it, just practice. It doesn't mean that if you mess up, trust me, you guys, when I started doing winged eyeliner, I messed up all the time. But after you practice a bunch, you just figure out your eye shape and where the skin kind of tugs and then it's all good. I'm going to quickly curl the lashes and then apply my CoverGirl Exhibitionist Waterproof Mascara. One of the best tips I can give you is that if you have short and straight lashes and want your lashes to stay up, use a waterproof mascara. It actually keeps your lashes up. Big tip and great mascara. In the last couple of weeks, I have been in love with the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. These I have been using in my Instagram posts and my photos. I just love them because they are matte, but the color is so pigmented and beautiful. It lasts all day. I went to a spin class with this on and I still had it on by the time I left, which was pretty incredible because I usually find that with lipsticks, especially crayons, they just melt away, but not this one. It lasts all day and the colors are great. Now let's get into affordable body products. One of my favorite hand soaps is the Everyone Hand Soap Apricot Plus Vanilla. You can get this at the drugstore, but I actually bought this at a discounted price at HomeSense, which I love shopping at, by the way. Next is shaving foam. This is the Nivea Men. It's actually Jeff's, but I love using it. Like I said before, if you're shaving, always use a shaving foam. This one is awesome, and I love it for teens. Next up is the Honest Organic Body Oil. This is the first product I've ever used from the Honest Company line, and I really like this. It helps lock in moisture. It's actually a really lightweight body oil, so you don't feel greasy afterwards. It has 95% organic oils like jojoba, olive, avocado, and sunflower. I also love using this during the fall and winter seasons for my dry cuticles. It works like a charm. If you have super dry hands like I do, one of my favorite things to do is using hand masks. This is the Aveeno Repairing Sika Hand Mask enriched with prebiotic oat and shea butter. It helps repair extra dry and problematic skin. So it comes in two glove shaped things. They are huge, but not to worry because when you put it on, there's like this little thing on the side that you can actually just close it up so you can still move around and use your hands and it just stays intact, which is great. Using this kind of reminded me of a paraffin wax treatment, the ones that you get at the nail salon, but this you can just do at home and it costs way less. It's easy to use, it's great for dry sensitive skin, and it's paraben and fragrance free too, so huge bonus. 
to use, I just put both my hands in here, remove after 10 minutes, you don't need to rinse it, and you just massage the remaining product into the skin until it's fully absorbed. And that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to say hi on Instagram. More videos on there that aren't posted on my YouTube channel. So I'll see you guys all very soon in my next one. Bye for now!